I live about a mile away from the Westboro Baptist Church, which was founded by Fred Phelps. He recently died, but his family is still carrying on his legacy of hate. And one of his main slogans is, you know, God hates fags. I personally witnessed some, you know, hate thrown my way. Um, They often protest at 10th and Gage. And, you know, one time they called me names, including, hey, faggot. And then uh, one time my wife was going to a midnight mass and uh, they called her a whore. Um, These people are still very active in this campaign of hate, hatred towards gays. Um, I have many friends in Topeka who are gay, and, and I take great offense to this kind of hatred. I feel it's a sad, you know, commentary on Topeka that, you know, here we are, the home of Brown v. Board of Education, where we, you know, the Supreme Court tried to intervene and stop segregation and discrimination, and yet discrimination and hate is still very much alive here in Topeka today. It seems in in retrospect easy to see that segregation was a bunch of result of a, a fear or or hatred. Uh, does it seem like you know we haven't really evolved? Just the target has changed. Yeah, I don't think we truly have evolved. I think it's interesting though if you look back in Topeka. You know, I live in a house in Topeka, Kansas, where there's a restriction on the deed of my property that says only people of Caucasian race can live here. My mother is Puerto Rican and my father's an American. You know, at one time it probably would have been illegal for me to live in my house. Did it Um, give you pause when you went to buy the house? Yeah, it did. But the interesting thing about the neighborhood is that it changed quite a bit after Brown v. Board. You know, there's been people of Native American race, African American, Jewish, um, and even um, Dr. C.F. Miniger once lived on my uh, on our street. So, uh, just all kinds of different people have have uh, lived there over the years. But um, I believe the the Fair Housing Act of 1968 outlawed this type of um, restriction on property and and uh, discrimination in in real estate. And 1968 doesn't really seem like that long ago. I mean, it's kind of the generation that my parents grew up in. It's kind of evidence that we're really not that far removed from this world. Exactly. You know, I was born in 1963, and um, I think we st- we still have a long ways to go. I, I really do. I feel like there's plenty of opportunity to to make improvements.